The earthquakes that we have seen in Turkey this week were certainly very large ones. Um, they are very large earthquakes that we normally ex normally see on so-called tectonic plate boundaries. And the Earth's outer shell is broken in plates, and they, those plates move past each other. And in eastern Turkey, we see that the Arabian plate and the Anatolian plate are moving past each other. And that generates these kind of earthquakes. It is very unlucky um, and also quite rare that we have two such enormous earthquakes on the same day. But even that has happened before. Um, even last year in places where not so many people lived, we know that on faults like this, these enormous earthquakes can happen. And the way to prepare for them is eventually through building codes and to making sure that the buildings that we build can withstand such big earthquakes. And that costs money. And Turkey has taken enormous steps forward after the Izmit earthquake in 1999 in building codes. And even in the last, uh, even in 2018, the building codes were sharpened to, to international top level. The size of an earthquake depends on um, the, the area of the fault where suddenly there's motion, the amount of motion and the depth. Um, the, the first earthquake, we don't really know yet, uh, the one near Gaziantep, we don't, we don't, I don't know yet how big the displacement was because that was quite deep, uh, but the Karamamarash earthquake, the second one was very shallow. Um, and there we have seen, I've seen pictures yesterday of Turkish colleagues who are now in the field there of train tracks that are suddenly offset by four meters and roads that are cut in half. Um, and if you have such shallow earthquakes with meters of displacement, then you get these enormous catastrophic effects.